Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of Numbers chapters 7 and 8. Numbers chapter 7, recounts the offerings brought by the leaders of the twelve tribes of Israel during the dedication of the altar. It is a detailed account of the offerings presented by each tribe and the significance of their contributions. After the completion of the tabernacle, the leaders of the tribes came forward to present their offerings to the Lord. Each leader brought a silver plate, a silver basin, and a gold dish filled with fine flour mixed with oil. They also offered a silver spoon filled with incense. The offerings were presented one by one, with each leader bringing identical items. The total weight of the silver articles, including the basins and plates, was substantial. The leaders also offered animals as sacrifices to the Lord, including bulls, rams, and lambs. Moses received the offerings on behalf of the Lord and placed them in the tabernacle. The presence of the Lord descended upon the tabernacle, and he spoke to Moses from the mercy seat between the cherubim. The chapter emphasizes the unity and dedication of the tribes of Israel in offering their gifts to the Lord. It demonstrates their commitment to worshiping and honoring God as a community. The offerings symbolize their gratitude, devotion, and desire for a close relationship with the Lord. This chapter highlights the importance of individual and collective worship and sacrifice in the life of the community. It reminds us of the significance of giving our best to God and seeking His presence in our midst. As we read Numbers chapter 7, we are reminded of the value of bringing our offerings to the Lord with a sincere and humble heart. It encourages us to give generously and wholeheartedly recognizing that everything we have comes from God. May we also seek to honor God through our worship and dedication, both as individuals and as a community of believers. Numbers chapter 8 describes the process of setting apart the Levites for their special service in the tabernacle. The Levites were chosen by God to assist the priests and perform various tasks related to the worship and maintenance of the tabernacle. God instructed Moses to gather the Levites and cleanse them for their consecration. The purification process involved sprinkling them with water and shaving their entire bodies. This was done to symbolize their dedication and separation for the service of the Lord. Once purified, the Levites were brought before the tent of meeting, and the entire Israelite community laid their hands on them. This act symbolized the transfer of the responsibilities of the firstborn sons to the Levites. Who would now serve in their place. The Levites were seen as a gift from God to the Israelites. After the consecration, the Levites began their service at the age of 25 and retired at the age of 50. Their duties included assisting the priests in the tabernacle, caring for the sacred items, and setting up and taking down the tabernacle when the Israelites moved. God specifically appointed the Levites to be a blessing to the people of Israel, and to carry out their tasks faithfully. They were not allowed to perform the same priestly duties as the descendants of Aaron, but they were crucial in supporting the priests and facilitating the worship of God. The chapter concludes with God instructing Moses on how the Levites were to serve and be assigned their specific duties. Their service was an essential part of maintaining the order and holiness of the tabernacle. Numbers chapter 8 reminds us of the importance of recognizing and appreciating those who serve in various roles within the community of believers. It highlights the significance of each person's contribution and the need for teamwork in accomplishing God's work. Just as the Levites were set apart for their service, may we also embrace our unique roles and serve God and others with dedication and humility. Brothers and sisters, we will continue in the next video. God bless you. Thank you.